Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. I'm Bob, and today I'm going to show you how to install a carriage bolt and remove it. So I have here my carriage bolt, and carriage bolts are typically installed with the carriage bolt, a washer, and a nut to follow, okay? Also, you should know that carriage bolts, to prevent them from moving, in the wood have this square at the top that's notched has no thread so threads on the carriage bolt do not run all the way to the under the head so you can see that here and as once i start drawing in the knot this will prevent it from turning and also you will need a hammer because Sometimes it's a little tight. You could uh, use a ratchet. I have an open end wrench here, so that's what I'm going to use. Use a ratchet if you like. You'll see it drawing that head right on in there, nice and tight. And you can see it's pulling the head right in. And that's the installation of a carriage bolt. So as you can see here, the head is nice and flush with the wood. That's typically the way that a carriage bolt should be completed and finished. If you start to draw the head in, you can do that if you like, but it's going to start to dimple the wood on the face. Typically, you don't want to see that. And if I want to remove this, all I would do is loosen the nut. Bring the nut back to where it's almost going to come off the carriage bolt. Take a hammer and just hit the opposite side. Bring it out. Back off the nut a little bit more as much as you can. Of course, I'm doing this because this way, so I don't ruin the actual carriage bolt and I can reuse the carriage bolt. If you just don't care, then just take the nut off and yank it out. You can use the claw like this to just pull it out. And there you go. Removed. There you go. Subscribe, like, comment. Visit us at albanycountyfasteners.com for 50,000 SKUs right off the rack, ready to ship. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.